Today, I have something really exciting to show you. I was sent the cinematic pack by EasyEdit.pro to show to you guys, and it is honestly amazing. They sent this over a month ago, and after just looking at the website, I had to show this to you. The way that they organize their files to send to you, and just the titles themselves are so clean, I couldn't say no. First off, when you actually get the files, make sure you unzip the folder that it comes with, and then find these files inside. If you're on Windows, you'll have this .ds store. Don't worry about that. We got a bunch of information in here that you can go to. There's more templates if you want to learn about some more. But we can also just jump straight down to the important stuff right down here in the folders. If you have Illustrator installed, you can go and use this and actually get some of the assets they use to adapt them for your own stuff. But first thing you should do is go ahead and hop into here and then go ahead and install the fonts. Let's go to fonts and let's just go up here to used fonts. They don't only give you a link to all the fonts they use. They give you a link to download a zip with all the fonts they used. This is super, super easy to install. You just select all the fonts all together in one big select right click and install or install for all users and you're done then you're ready to install the actual templates if you've used things from like Envato or like motion array you know how hard it is to get either the fonts or the templates to work right these guys make it super super easy you can find all the dot setting files in project files but you're not actually gonna find a dot setting file you're gonna find a dot DRFX that's another great thing that they do that lots of people on Envato don't end up doing a dot DRFX is gonna automatically install all of those dot setting templates into the right place. So if we go ahead and double click on this, it's going to bring us right into the DaVinci and it's going to start to install it for us. I can go ahead and click override because it already exists, but I'm going to go ahead and press cancel because I don't have to worry about that. Not only do, do they provide everything in a really easy to install .drfx file, but they also offer all of the overlays they use and sound effects super easy to use. They give you all sorts of stuff. They give you illustrator files. They give you composition previews so you can actually see what they look like before you just go and use them. They have a bunch of amazing things for you guys to check out here. I really do recommend this. Let's go and talk about some of my favorites. If we look over here on the left side of our screen, we can see we have the media pool, effects, and that's what we have open right now. If you go and close and open effects, you can see this is where all of our templates are stored. You can find the cinematic titles right here under the titles section in the section called cinematic titles. It should be near the top. And you're going to actually see five different sections in here. And there's maybe like a hundred of them in here. There is so many for you to choose from. We have things that are just are texture based that really, really hone in that cinematic look. We have full screen titles, which is just some simple text with maybe a background and some special transition. They got a lot of amazing things in here that I really recommend you check out separately. It looks like it's just some of the favorites that I've chosen just from these first three sections. And then you can go pick it out for yourself. This one right here, title 03, this one is great. Now all of these are pretty heavy fusion tra transitions, so it may be a little hard to actually get to run all the way. There are ways around that, like you could obviously cache everything but we may just go up here and lower our resolution just to make it run right. And we can see still this intro still has issues running. And this is not necessarily a fault of them. This is just a fusion thing. Fusion tends to be slower. It's hard to avoid that when you want to build out these really cool looking titles. But we can see we have some of their assets right in here. They got a cool little horse and it's super easy to change the fonts, the text, the colors, all these spacings, the position, tons of easy to control stuff right here. We can take a look at 04. This is a beautiful glowing golden color. It really feels regal. It reminds me of like the Godfather. It's very powerful and really good for anybody who wants a really cinematic and almost powerful feeling film. This one's also really unique. I liked the paper animation style of it. It makes it look really cool. And as you can see, it is kind of based off of Taken. So there you go. This one's wild. I love the lens effect. It makes it look really, really cool. And you have just the top text, and then you have a little bit of bottom text with just a bit of texture going on to just add that difference. All of these are like little nuggets for your brain to be like, oh, that's so cool to look at. This one is awesome. I just, I, I always love anything that has the chromatic effect whenever it's moving or has anything like that. Super cool effect, really makes it feel almost haunted or sci-fi sometimes. It's up to you how, how you want to interpret it or how you want to make it actually feel that way with either the, the music or changing the colors, maybe the font. It's really up to you and your creative mind. And this one just feels very peaceful, very serene. Reminds me a bit of The Good Place, that show. Really nice intro, really nice ease into the title and everything in there so it's not just in your face.
And this one uses a similar effect as the one we just saw a little bit ago with that wide angle fisheye lens effect right there at the beginning. And then it just eases into this really spotty, kind of bright looking title. All right, now we just have the basic titles here. These are a little bit more of your simplistic things. There's no texture necessarily going on. It's just a, a simple batch of colors that just helps keep things really, really easy on the eyes. And all of these are super easy to use. You can expand them out and they'll last the entire length. They're not gonna end early because they're keyframed a certain way. They're just gonna do their thing, wait there, and then they're just gonna leave at the end. These are the full screen titles. As I mentioned earlier, these are just things that have just the text on them, then nothing else, no who made this or anything like that. It's just a simple title. These even have textures on them and they just really help sell this to make it really clean and perfect for really any video project. I can see myself using these for YouTube videos. In fact, you might have seen one earlier. If you need to ch adjust anything any further, you can always hop into Fusion and you can unpack the node with an unpacker like in the new macro creator, or you can unpack this by copying the node out into a text document. I I've shown this off in a video. I'll go and link that up above, but it's not just the titles that it comes with. I mentioned earlier very briefly, but it comes with its own sound effects. So over here in the actual project files overlays, we have two SFX folders. This is really interesting. Let's go into transitions here. And we're gonna see we have some CRT transitions, light leak transitions, and VFX tr transitions. If we get into here, we're actually gonna see MOV files. MOV files mean that it's not something you can like put in between two clips really easily like you could with the default video transitions right up here, but you also get the added bonus of having the baked in audio. So I've just dropped in two video clips that I had in my most recent video that I did last week. You guys can also check that out down below, but we can go and bring these in with just some in and out points set so it's not super, super long. Now, if we line these up really easily like this, we can bring in those MOV files and we can drag some of them right onto the timeline. We can hear it has a little glitch effect. These are really, really nice actually. I did not actually take a look at these before this. We can then go ahead and drag on this straight onto our comp here or right onto our timeline. And we want to first line it up to the actual cut. Now we can put our cursor or our playhead there and we want to zoom in as much as we can and just kind of place this in the center. You can get mathematical with it, but I'm going to eyeball it. As we can see, it does kind of have a black overlay. It is an MOV. It's not fully transparent. What we can do is come up here to composite mode and make this down here to screen. And now it's going to overlay instead of just cover up. So now if we want to play through it from the beginning, we'll use our listening ears here and actually hear that glitch sound effect. I have the sound turned off, so we actually couldn't. But we can see that is a really, really nice transition regardless. Well, so let's listen to that again. That's really nice. We can hear right as it's on the peak of its transition, which actually never fully covers up the screen. We can see it does just kind of jump, and that may be because of the screen option I have on here. Okay, so just taking a quick look at their video, it says they can do either overlay or screen, and both look to be similar. Overlay just seems to be a slightly darker version of it. Oh yeah, it looks like it darkens the video here in this case. So maybe making it screen works better in this case. So yeah, it looks like it doesn't fully cover up on that main transition, but you can still see maybe this would have backed better as the center transition here. So let me maybe move this over. And this is the entire point of this. You just play around with it. You find the best spot for what you want. And it does a nice, simple transition that you don't really have to do much thinking about. You just lay it on there and it's done for you. Sound effects are in there, transitions done for, what more do you have to do? And we can also see this folder called overlays is also labeled with SFX. So that means that I'm assuming at least a few of these are also going to have some of those sound effects on there. So let's go and find some to do. All these look really, really good, but they also look very, very similar. I say that and then find one that looks completely different than the rest. These look really nice. These are really good if you wanna do glitchy effects for your film. I can totally see that. Oh, and we have a simple VHS overlays. Oh yeah, these are, yeah, these these are all these all look really really easy to use. Uh, I'm assuming you can loop them and they don't have super obvious repeating sounds. Yep, I just took a look at the tutorial again. It looks like you do just kind of loop it by duplicating the click over and over again, and then once again set the composite mode to, to either overlay or screen. And we even have really nice light leak elements in here that are just built into this pack to just really enhance the look of all your films. This is. There's a lot of there's a lot of light leaks in here. Let's just drag one of these into here right now. Oh yeah, look at this. This is a nice long light leak. We can change this composite mode. I'm assuming screen works better in this case again. Yep, looks like it does. And if we just play through it, 
This isn't outside, but we can see it sounds like a film reel and it has that nice light leak that just really brings it home. I don't know, this, this stuff can be amazing in short films or even like films for events or pretty maybe weddings, stuff like that. I've only looked at just a handful of things in here, not even a handful. I've looked at a grain of sand out of the out of the beats that they have in this pack. Really go check out the website. I have that linked down below. They have lots of other really cool stuff on, uh, on their shop as well. Definitely go check it out. But go ahead and get this now to make your videos more cinematic. But I'll see you guys in the next time. Happy animating.